It's not often that you see a coin from a remote country like Laos. Really different, really interesting, and commemorating the plight of the Indochinese tiger. A really elegant coin that we're gonna showcase and focus on here in today's video. Everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver and gold. And this week we have an incredible tiger-themed coin to showcase, the Panthera Tigris. You can totally understand why that garnered the most votes from last week's episode. And if you are interested in having a say of what we look at next week, then make sure you stick around to the end, cast your eye and indeed your vote on what you want to see next time here on In Focus Friday. But for today, we are going to be focusing on this wonderful coin, which has been sent to me for free from Europa Bullion. Uh, so I do want to be completely open and transparent that I haven't paid for this coin, but it is very, very cool nevertheless. And Europa Bullion have them listed for sale. So if anybody is interested in them, you can go and check out their website. There's a link down in the description below to this particular coin on Europa Bullion's website. There's no affiliate bonus codes from that, and we're not tied financially to the sales of these coins. It's just simply if you like it, if you're enjoying it, and you want to get this particular coin, that is uh, an avenue by which you can get it. So let's talk all about this because it's actually a really interesting piece and a really interesting coin uh, to showcase here. Now I'm a big fan of wildlife themed coins, I always have been, uh, and this is something a bit different. You see a lot of the kind of African wildlife style coins or the lunar coins with the different wildlife on them, but this is different and this has uh, another difference on it as well uh, with, if we can get it the right way up, with it being a coin of Laos, and you don't see coins from Laos particularly often. Uh, from my limited research, there's a few proof coins which I've seen here and there, uh, but bullion-based coins, very, very uncommon to see. So this is different in many ways. It's nice and refreshing to see a coin uh, you know, that doesn't have just the queen's head on, isn't just from Tokelau or wherever it might be, some remote uh, Pacific Island. So that's a big plus, a really nice thing. Now, from what I understand, this was an Appm exclusive um, commission. So uh, I believe Appmex may be commissioners. I haven't been able to find the mint that made them, though. That information hasn't been uh, published widely enough for me to find it anyway. So if anybody knows that, that would be great to sort of round out this particular um, product. But otherwise, we've got some really interesting things to talk about here. So this is a second release in a series. Uh, the first one had a similar theme tiger uh, with a different pose coming out of the forest. This one is a very menacing looking tiger. Uh, and from what I read, this is the tiger giving a warning that it is there, that it's been noticed and it's warding you off, which I think is really cool. 10,000 is the mintage. So from my usual kind of rule of three, which is always about uh, looks, how good things look, mintage, and then of course popularity and general buzz about a particular topic. This one certainly hits the mark with mintage and design. Uh, popularity is going to be a different question for this one. Uh, of course the th plight of the tiger is something that's very well documented um, and it's nice to see actually that this is a particular coin that has uh, connections with the area of the world where these tigers actually do still survive in the wild, albeit very, very in low numbers. Uh, but that's kind of cool. It's, it's nice again to see the relationship between the actual country, Laos, and the tiger itself, which is really, really good. Now there is actually a gold version of this out there as well with a mintage of just 100, which reminds me very much of the like the Rwandan nautical series or the Rwandan um, animal series, the lunar series, with the tiny mintages on the golds. From what I see, the gold, it, uh, it's in stock with a couple of different dealers uh, at about $2,400, which is a high premium, definitely a very high premium uh, for a you know basically one-off gold version. Whether it's kind of in the same category, same realm of premium potential for things like the Romano series is up in the air, but it is another option if people are interested. And talking of this in gold, uh, this reverse side here that we see the uh, the temple here, and a bit of research has told me that this is, I'm going to try and get my pronunciation right, I apologise very much if I don't, um, it's the Fa That Luang temple in Laos, which is the most popular and most staggering temple. And the reason I mentioned gold is because in its gold form, if this was the gold version of the coin, it would be very, very close to what the temple looks like because all of this top part of the temple with the, uh, the sort of bit inside the walls and the spire 
is completely laden in gold leaf. And from what I read, there are over a thousand LBS pounds worth of gold leaf on this temple. And it certainly is quite the sight in photos. So definitely worth having a look at if ever you're in Laos. Uh, interesting, and another fact that I found out whilst researching, 500 KIP, KIP, that's the, uh, of course, currency of Laos. Uh, 500 KIP actually equates to approximately five US cents. Uh, so really kind of tiny in denomination uh, for this particular currency, uh, which I think is quite interesting. Um, I mean, even if they'd added an extra zero on that and just made it 50 cents, that would have been, you know, maybe still even undervalued. You see, of course, you know, one dollar silver, one ounce coins. Um, you know, interesting, interesting that that kind of low denomination is on there. So five cents of silver in one ounce of silver, um, you know, that that's uh, quite different indeed. So I think this is a really elegant coin. It's different as well with a smooth edge. Uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, Austrian Philharmonics with the smooth edge. I like a smooth edge coin, I have to say. There are benefits of having the reeded coins. They are easier to handle and pick up. And, you know, I'm handling this with my bare hands. I wanted to showcase it for uh, all of its glory outside of a capsule here today. Um, you know, it's my coin. I do with what I wish. Of course, if it's your coin, I would highly recommend you wear gloves or at least keep it very much in that capsule. Uh, it is a premium coin. We will talk about price point right now. So uh, Europa Bullion have them listed for 31 euros. Uh, various other dealers I've seen around the world have them listed around the same price points. Europa Bullion is pretty competitively priced when it comes to these things. And, um, you know, perhaps there are better deals out there. I don't know. But uh, from what I see, it is a premium coin still. Uh, for a mintage of 10,000, that is... Um, understandable. I've seen other coins with higher mintages, be at higher premiums. Uh, in terms of the sort of my rule of three, so if we're going to go through on all of that, uh, I'm going to grade it, uh, you know, pretty high up there on the design side of things. I think it is pretty elegant. It is wonderful, actually, in terms of the level of design and intricacy that is in here on the tiger's face. It's very, very pretty, very menacing looking. The uniqueness of it, uh, the difference of it, and the mintage figures. Um, yeah, definitely in its favour. <clears throat> 10,000 as a mintage is small when it comes to a bullion coin, but it is not minute. I've seen, of course, smaller mintage coins come out there, uh, which tend to garner better results over a long period of time. Uh, it's part of a series, which is good. Does that give it a buzz? Uh, it's not something that I've sort of seen talked about on YouTube a lot, and it's not something that I've seen featured a lot here on YouTube or on different forums and uh, other social media platforms. But that doesn't mean that it's not something that would have a following. Of course, the plight of the tiger is something that's really interesting uh, and something that I feel pretty strongly about. I remember watching some incredible documentaries about the plight of tigers in their, in their natural habitat. And to have them... Uh, to have a coin that actually has the area of the world where these tigers are backing it is pretty cool and pretty special. Um, but let's be under no disillusion that buying this coin isn't necessarily going to support the plight of the tigers. Um, it's very much done as a kind of you know product to sell, to make money, and uh, it is what it is. I think it's really good though. Overall, I'm going to give it a score of 7 out of 10. Uh, I do think that there are some really good design points here to take in. The mintage is low. And it does have some really interesting uh, kind of background to it in terms of the uh, the difference of the coin. If, if anything, just to have a coin from Laos in your collection uh, is very uncommon. They don't come up particularly often at all. And when I was searching for other examples, it really is not something that comes up at all. So, um, yeah, 7 out of 10 is my score on it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section uh, for what you would give it out of 10. And if, as I said, you are interested in purchasing it, then you can do so from Europa Bullion's website, link down in the description below. Uh, I did want to just also point out that a few of you mentioned that Europa Bullion's shipping costs are a little expensive. Well, do remember that they are shipping internationally through various couriers. And if you are just going to go and buy one coin, of course, the shipping is going to be expensive. But I believe that they have storage options for up to three months and potentially even six months as well. Uh, for you know bulk orders and actually getting discounts on those shipping so definitely worth getting in touch with them anyway and having a look so that's the panthera tigers now then we have four options for you all for next week we've got the giants of the ice age we've got the who coin from the royal mint we've got the quokka from the perth mint and we have the Hawksbill Turtle, which is one of my own personal favourites. I love a turtle. So let me know down in the comments which of these four you would like to see next week, and the one with the most votes will get featured. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed the presentation today of the Panthera Tigers, then do let me know. 
by hitting that thumbs up button. It also helps spread the video wide through YouTube's wondrous algorithm. Otherwise, that is it from me. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.